Did you know that around 20% of all the bacteria in or on your body lives within your mouth? And one of the bacteria that lives within your mouth called Porphyromonas gingivalis or P. gingivalis may in some cases actually play a significant role in the onset of rheumatoid arthritis and also to contribute to the ongoing severity of the disease. In this episode, we will take a closer look at the science that connects our oral health with rheumatoid arthritis. And we'll also consider how you can reduce pathogenic bacteria within the mouth and lower the risk of it impacting upon your rheumatoid arthritis. My name's Rachel Bailey, PhD, and also a medical researcher here at Rheumatoid Solutions. And I'm here to help you to get the right information to achieve maximum health and minimum rheumatoid arthritis symptoms. So let's get started. And P. gingivalis is just one of more than 700 species of bacteria that call our mouths home. However, this particular bacteria has captured the attention of researchers due to its strong association with chronic periodontal disease. And this is a condition that affects the tissues surrounding our teeth. It's a gram-negative bacteria and it can invade these oral tissues. And when it comes into contact with our immune system, it can trigger an immune response, which leads to inflammation and our immune cells recognising P. gingivalis as a threat. And this is what causes the inflammation associated with periodontal disease. However, P. gingivalis is also a bit of a sneaky bacteria. It can also evade the um, body's immune responses, allowing it to hide out and avoid detection for much longer, leading to greater inflammation and greater problems. What's also fascinating about this bacteria is its connection with rheumatoid arthritis. So clinical studies have shown a higher prevalence and severity of periodontal disease in individuals with rheumatoid arthritis than in those with osteoarthritis. And interestingly, researchers have found that non-surgical dental treatments uh, for periodontal disease may actually improve rheumatoid arthritis symptoms. And who would have thought that a trip to the dentist could provide some much needed relief for those living with rheumatoid arthritis? The influence of P. gingivalis appears to extend beyond the confines of our mouth. The bacteria have also been detected in the synovial tissue of rheumatoid arthritis patients. And this suggests a possible route of travel from the oral cavity through to the joints of our body, causing inflammation and damage along the way. We also know that once P. gingivalis has been ingested and taken into the body, it also embarks on a journey through our digestive system with the potential of disrupting the permeability of our gut, leading to the symptoms associated with leaky gut. It also demonstrates a bit a crafty manipulation of our immune system. So it can stimulate the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines, and this is a group of signaling molecules that are involved in inflammation. And by amplifying this inflammatory response within the body, P. gingivalis actually exacerbates the body's immune reactions and this could potentially contribute to the development and progression of various health conditions, such as rheumatoid arthritis. So all of this is relevant to rheumatoid arthritis, but perhaps the information that hits home the most is that P. gingivalis can create disfigured proteins in the body that result in the production of antibodies known as anti-CCP antibodies. And these antibodies are used as a diagnostic tool for rheumatoid arthritis patients. And P. gingivalis creates these disfigured proteins by damaging a protein called arginine, making it foreign to the body and initiating an immune response against it. So when you show positive to the anti-CCP test, it's quite possible that these antibodies have been created in response to the damage that P. gingivalis has done. And one of the first most common medical interventions for P. gingivalis overgrowth and periodontal disease is to go to a periodontal dentist and have a procedure known as planing and scaling performed. And this can be very effective against P. gingivalis. And if you want to see an incredible example of someone who's dramatically lowered their anti-CCP antibodies by addressing P. gingivalis overgrowth with, at the dentist, then click on the link here on the screen and watch Robert share his journey with gum disease and learn about the dramatic rheumatoid arthritis turnaround that he experienced after getting a comprehensive gum cleaning 
dental procedure. So Robert used planing and scaling at the dentist to effectively reduce the P. gingivalis overgrowth within his mouth. But if you don't feel you need that level of intervention and you want to explore a lighter approach first, then consider the effect of garlic on P. gingivalis, which proves promising as an at-home remedy. And studies have shown how garlic may actually reduce the impact of P. gingivalis and therefore serve as a potential strategy to help reduce rheumatoid arthritis symptoms. And this is what we are going to talk about in the next section of the podcast. Now, the impact of P. gingivalis may be one of the factors why garlic is so effective in clinical trials for patients with rheumatoid arthritis. And just to give you an example, in a particular study, 70 women with active rheumatoid arthritis were divided into two groups. And one group received a 1000 milligram garlic supplement, while the control group received a placebo. And this study carried on for eight weeks. And the results showed that the garlic group experienced significant reductions in serum levels of inflammatory biomarkers, um, which included CRP, C-reactive protein, and also uh, TNF-alpha or tumor necrosis factor alpha. Um, when these were compared to the placebo group. And additionally, the garlic group actually showed improvement in pain intensity, tender joint count, disease activity, and also fatigue scores. And these findings suggest that garlic supplementation could be a potentially successful complementary treatment for rheumatoid arthritis. And in fact, several microbiological studies have demonstrated just how effective garlic is at inhibiting P. gingivalis. And one study even reported that garlic extract had a similar effect to a well-known antiseptic mouthwash inhibiting the bacteria. So now let's consider some of the reasons why garlic may be so effective against P. gingivalis overgrowth in the mouth and at alleviating rheumatoid arthritis symptoms. Its mechanisms of action include regulating histamine levels, acting as an antioxidant to combat oxidative stress, and also providing a source of prebiotic fibre known as inulin, which is a feast for the beneficial bacteria within our gut. All of these mechanisms are helpful for rheumatoid arthritis patients, and so garlic is a great tool to have in your toolkit. For maximum exposure against P. gingivalis in the mouth, consider cutting a small piece of garlic and eating it raw. Of course, if you can handle the very strong taste and complaints from your family members about garlic breath. Unlocking the mysterious link between P. gingivalis and rheumatoid arthritis reveals a thrilling connection where the health of our mouths intertwines with our systemic well-being. By addressing P. gingivalis overgrowth, we open doors to potential interventions and lifestyle changes that could transform our battle against rheumatoid arthritis, leading to improved symptoms and a brighter future for those affected by this condition. So what are the key takeaways from this podcast? Well, firstly, we heard how P. gingivalis is closely associated with rheumatoid arthritis and that the presence of this bacterium can have a significant impact on the development and progression of rheumatoid arthritis. Fortunately, dental procedures offer a potential solution and by addressing and reducing the presence of P. gingivalis in the mouth, we can witness an improvement in rheumatoid arthritis symptoms. So taking care of our oral health can have a direct positive effect on managing rheumatoid arthritis. But here's where it gets interesting. Garlic, yes, that common kitchen ingredient, has shown promise as a less invasive option. It can help to reduce the impact of P. gingivalis overgrowth and also to alleviate the symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis. So incorporating garlic into our diet may offer a natural and effective way to combat this connection. But the story doesn't end there. Our quest for optimal health doesn't solely lie within the confines of our gut. It extends to the often overlooked realm of the microbiome within our mouth. The delicate balance of microorganisms that resides there plays a vital role, not only in our oral health, but also in influencing the larger ecosystem of our microbiome. So if you're looking for a programme that is focused on optimising the microbiome of your whole body, 
then check out rheumatoidsolutions.com, which of course utilises garlic along with many other strategies to improve your bacterial portfolio. This can help to increase your chances of reducing the pain and inflammation associated with rheumatoid arthritis. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, drop us a comment below and stay tuned for more exciting content. Thank you.